What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here reviewing today, Lawbreakers. Before we officially begin this video, I do need to issue a short warning. There's a really bad glitch right now where the screen will randomly freeze for a half second when you're just randomly running around. Because this happens so often, some of my footage will look a little bit choppy occasionally. This isn't your browser screwing up or your phone trying to crash, it's just this error. Okay, with that being said, let's dig into the actual review. If you've been alive and into gritty, gun-filled action at all in the last decade, you've probably played some Gears of War. This series was created by the sometimes controversial director Cliff Blazinski. After finishing the third game in the franchise and thus completing what he saw as his ultimate trilogy, Cliffy left the development team behind to begin work on something totally new. What that turned out to be is a title that I can already tell is going to have a very dedicated fan base, but I'm not sure I'll be part of it. When you first turn on Lawbreakers, it's hard not to notice all the similarities to Overwatch. I'm not saying that this is copying it really, no, in fact, I'd say that this project fights to improve upon that perfect hero shooter formula established in Overwatch. The question is, does this come up with enough original ideas to get the attention it deserves? While other multiplayer focused experiences in this genre aim to throw together storytelling and beautiful maps to kill each other on, this game very much skips all that. Lawbreakers, at its heart, is something that is incredibly fun to play, and yet, rather rough at the same time. When you jump into your first match, you'll immediately be struck by the one big element that makes gameplay stand out. It is ultra, ultra fast. Weapons deal major damage, jetpacks let you travel at hyperspeed, and the center of each level has almost no gravity. Adapting to this very different pacing takes some practice, which means that you're going to spend some hours getting completely torn apart by enemy fire. Along with the swiftness you have to get used to, there's also the large roster of characters that we can choose from that all move and attack in unique ways. Like the assassin here, she has a dodge that lets her change directions in midair and a grapple hook so she can destroy anyone in the skies. Or this guy, the wraith, he spawns with razor sharp knives and a slide that lets you become a smaller target enabling you to dash forward and cut down foes. This is just two of the heroes we can play as, but they paint the picture that Lawbreakers is all about crazy cool style. When I'm charging along as the gunslinger trying to score a goal, I love that I can teleport ahead short distances to confuse those sniping at me. If, however, I'm filling the metal shell of the robot class Juggernaut, I get a decent machine gun and the ability to drop these unbreakable laser walls that are so huge I can block an entire doorframe. Mastering how everyone works is a daunting task at the start because there's just such a sheer amount of volume to take in. Once you begin sinking into the rhythm of stuff like a titan slower walk speed but heavy rocket launcher or the rules of each match type, the pieces of gameplay all fit together with an impressive amount of complexity. That does bring things to the glaring problem in this game that I think breaks the flow badly. There aren't defined jobs for each role like other hero shooters have. It's great that everyone's so strong, and yet, without having a general pointer like, hey, this person heals good, I find that many players online try to treat every situation like a sloppy FPS. In between lines, you're able to change characters, which would be nice if there was an interesting balance of offensive and defensive skills. You know, stuff to counteract each other. If somebody's beating my ass with a particular hero, why isn't there a counterbalance? Why isn't there like this nice rock, paper, scissors flow to things? There's just not. These heroes may work differently, but they just feel so overly similar to me. The reason I consider this such an issue is that every fight quickly begins to seem repetitive. At the beginning of a battle, short range fighters rush in and get shot, snipers try and sneak in a couple headshots, and then all the middle classers slam in and clean up the rest. I saw this exact scenario go down thousands of times, and it blurs together so fast. Really, some of this is because of the match types. These are a mixture of dominating points on the map or basically engaging in a fancy game of capture the flag. Neither of these is bad, I just never felt like my hero's talents were useful specifically. This may sound like I'm being overly negative, and I'm not trying to be. Lawbreakers is enjoyable to play, alone or with friends. Since we all have such limited health, it can be amazing to unleash a special and rack up a nasty multi-kill, only to be dropped a second later. Every single moment is so exciting and keeps me on the edge of my seat because I never know if I'm going to be alive one minute, dead one minute, or winning the next minute. The turbo speed makes it so even if I have a little bit of time before I have to go to bed or something, I want to log in because every moment is non-stop action. I really just crave for it to have more passion and soul in it. 
We don't get an opening cutscene even roughly explaining this world and why we can't get a darn gravity pad working. Who are these characters and why are they so eager to blast each other? When I look at a screenshot of Overwatch, I can tell you every single person's name, job, and backstory. It's not that I'm a mega fan of it either, it's just that it's such an established universe that's worth sticking in your brain for years, it's easy to remember. I'm not sure that this has the lasting potential to lock in a group of gamers long enough for it to actually get updates and improve before the servers dry up in six months. If I had to sum this project up in a single sentence, it'd be this. Shiny loot crates may give me nifty new outfits, but if I don't care who's wearing it, then I won't even bother opening them. Okay, so we've heard some good and some bad, but let's over the ratings board and put a big number on it. I am giving Lawbreakers a 7.5 out of 10. If you are super hardcore into online only arena style shooters and you see this on sale somewhere, maybe check it out. Spending a weekend floating around and zapping strangers is flawless, but soon you'll want to teleport away. Thanks so much for watching gamers, this has been Dreamcast Guy with another review. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. After putting 60 hours into the beta and another 20 into the final game, I am really, really burned out on this game. Seriously do me a favor and give this video a like. I got a feeling that the early Lawbreaker fanboys are just gonna downvote bomb the hell out of this. Oh, hey, I was just playing a little bit of Grand Theft Auto on my Darth Vader PSP. Are you curious what I'm going to come out with next? Well, if you click this button, you'll be subscribed to be the first to know. Also, if you click over here and here, you can see my latest review and my latest top 10. I promise it was super good. Or it was really bad and I'm sure you can just make fun of me in the comments. Either way, it'll be a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching.